In this video, I modify a radio controlled cyber truck and it ruins my carpet. By the way, you can win a brand new tribal game over monster truck. It's a replica of my real monster truck. These things are worth around $4,000 and you can win one. Link to that down below in the description box. Right, let's crack on with the video. Now I got this one here from Amazon and it's probably not going to be much good compared to all these hobby grade RC cars. So we're going to run it as it is, see how bad or possibly good it is and then we're going to make it good. Here's the controller and it also comes with a quad. So it's got suspension but no shocks. It's got double wishbone suspension front and rear but it's only rear wheel drive, no drive shafts in the front look. Let's get some batteries in there. Oh, built in batteries. So we plug that into... Uh, come on, come on, reach, reach. Controller, two double A's. Boo boo. So we give that a minute to charge up and then we'll see what it does. Subscribe. There we go, all charged up. Now let's see what this jalopy can do. Oh, check this out. Realistic front headlights and tail lights. Here we go, first obstacle. Don't forget if it sucks, then we're gonna modify it in this video and see if we can make it better. First obstacle, here we go. Oh, we made it over. Oh, the hill, no chance. Trying to film, drive and hand to God all at the same time. No, it can't do it. Surely a real one can do 45 degrees. Let's go a bit less then. Come on. Come on. No, not having it. Next obstacle. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yes. Now there's not much control over it. It's all just on or off. You can't go, oh, that poor quad. Backflip. <laughs> no. Crash test. Next up, we have the staircase of doom. It was nice knowing you, Tesla. All right, we're going to try and do it really slowly. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Got to try and film and drive at the same time. <laughs> I don't know, I think even an eight year old would get bored of it. Let's make it better. Let's see if we can give it more power. On most RC cars, you can take the body off on this one because it's toy grade screwed on. So there's the battery. We can definitely fit one with more power. Maybe it'll work, maybe smoke will come out. Who knows, let's find out. All that we've got to do now is put a connector on there and then we can run any battery we want. More power! Yes! So the battery that came out of it, 7.4 volts. This battery, nearly 12 volts. Let's see what happens. If it survives, we'll give it even more volts. Right, wish me luck. See what happens. Damn it, put the wrong connector on there. Try again. I'd like to come on. Let's see what happens. That still works. Steering's faster. I just hot glued this phone mount on here so I can film and drive at the same time. Here we go. Oh, it's got a little bit more power. Whoa, and then it kicks in. And it kicks in like a turbo. I need a bigger run up. Here we go, full speed. Oh. What happened? <laughs> Trying to get a donut out of it. Donut, come on. Oh. Let's get a bigger battery into it before we kill it. it does smell a bit warm in there. Right, bigger battery. That was 3S. So I got this, 14.8 volts. That is now double the voltage, what's supposed to be in there. Double the volts, double the power, yes. There we go, 4S going in. This can't survive, can it? Well, the lights are still on, a bit brighter. 
Chuck a bit of tape on there because I can't be bothered to screw it shut. Man, it's definitely got a burnt out electrical smell in there. It can't last much longer. Just in case. Here we go. The steering works. No, it's not happy. Oh, car, yeah, burnt out. Game over. Right, next. Let's modify it with... I don't know yet, let's have a look. So I reckon all of this is not up to the job, so let's get rid of it. All we gotta do now is find a better chassis. What about this one here? This here can do 6S LiPos. That's 25 volts. That means we got lots of power, and because it's a Traxxas TRX4, it means it's gonna be really good at crawling. But will the body fit? Maybe we can make it fit, I don't know. It goes on, but it does look a little bit silly. The TRX4 chassis is definitely a little bit too off-roady or a bit too high up. But I do have an SEX10 Pro chassis. This is low center of gravity. The whole chassis is a lot slimmer than the TRX4 chassis. So this could be perfect. But that's gonna be in a future video. But anyway, for now, let's see how this one goes. Might even be able to get a burnout out of it. Here we go. Oh, steering goes the wrong way, and I've got my module to reverse it on the Isle of Man, and I'm in UK. So I'm going to have to try and drive it with the steering going the wrong way. So you might see a lot of crashes. But anyway, it goes forward, and oh, oh dear. Look, we're bubbing. Uh oh. But no big deal, we can cut it off. That's better, huh? Right, here we go. Obstacle course round number two. That steering's a bit tricky to get hold of. Oh, straight over that, easy. No messing around. Oh, yes. Easy. All right, normal crawl. That should at least be able to do 45 degrees. Let's see how the new Cybertruck does it. Oh, easy. Look at that. I reckon we can go more than that. Oh, yes. More, 55. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so it can't make it up. Question is, can it make it down? Oh yes! That conveniently places us in a staircase of doom. This one should do it easy. Here we go. Uh oh, steering is tricky, but we're doing it. Boom! Oh man, this steering is tricky to navigate. Uh oh. oh Backflip. Oh! Oh! Oh no. So that come off of there. So let's quickly fix it and see if we can do a burnout. So here we've got the TRX4 graveyard. Many deceased cars and parts are in here. So hopefully we're going to find the part we need. Oh, that looks promising. So this is the part that we need. Then this one's the broken one. Let's get that off of there. New one on. Shaft in. That's what she said. And that on. Isn't it? Is. And that's what he said. Wheel back on and back in action. Actually not those wheels, burnout wheels. And for that, we're gonna use these racing slicks. And we're gonna run it on 6S LiPo, 25 volts. More power, yes. 6S, baby. Man, that looks a little bit silly. Here we go. Oh, 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 it can't be damaging the audio. Oh no, my lovely drillage. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Not funny. Let's see if we will crawl over the obstacles. <laughs> no, oh, what? <laughs> Poor carpet, it just heated up and suddenly got grip. <laughs> Man, this steering is hard. <laughs> Guys, you try it. Do servo reverse and try and drive it in a tight space. It's not easy. Hill climb. actually made a hole in my carpet. What happened? I don't know why this side weren't spinning. 
Oh, it's rounded it off in there. Next victim. Game over. Do you remember when we done the demolition derby radio controlled video? Well, what do you reckon will happen if I enter this into the same race? Let me know in the comments if you want to see that and then we might do it. Not with this one, because that one's been butchered with a brand new one. Don't forget you can win the game over Primal RC Monster Truck. Check out the link in the description and it could become yours. Oh.